1958, I had a new car the first time. I went up the new M1 to Shropshire. And also, I stayed at Pulverbatch and I went and looked at Cornton Hill, which I later came back and painted. And I have since then painted it actually many times. Um, recently, we went back, tried to find the view point from which I'd painted it and were disappointed, not for the first time, to find that a whole lot of trees had grown up and obscured the view. Just this here used to be my painting place for Corden Hill. But you see what's happened, the trees have grown up. It's a pity, you see, this has completely obstructed what was a very, very nice view. And it was just, just here, I think, that I did those two paintings from. And that was the time that I was staying with John. And John suddenly said to me, as he was liable to do in those days, um, you can't stay here tonight, because I've got, uh, I've got people coming. But I put you up in the B&B. &B. He said, down the road. And he said, you behave yourself. She's a rich widow. You see, this is one of the great ridges, the Stuyperstones Ridge. And when we get on top of that, you'll see the, um, the long men, which is parallel to it. I've always had a fascination with Cornwall Hill. I have been on top of it several times. It's actually very steep to get up there. And it's got a whole lot of old um, strange things, tumuli and you know, medieval graves and things on the top. I think it's the most, the most lovely place altogether. Nice to see it once more. Right, this is quite a few, isn't it? You can really see it from up here. Years and years ago, well, right at the beginning of my sort of association with this park, I was painting Cornden Hill from up here. Not exactly on this spot, but just a bit further along. And two women came and stood behind me and started watching, which is something that's always used to annoy me very much. And then I heard one of them say, must be lovely to be able to express yourself like that. And I said, if you wait a bit, you will hear me express myself in a way which will really surprise you. 